Hello and welcome back to another video. It's a long time since I've done a video and um, life has just been rather somewhat rather busy. That's the only reason. Um, and even more so, it's a long time since I've done a fix it repair video. Um, a few weeks ago, I was asked um, if I could repair a um, Dyson um, DC 14 model. I used to do, I used to do a lot of Dyson vacuum repairs for various people, and um, I used to run a building, a public building, where we had vacuum cleaners, and they were, seemed to be forever breaking down. And <laughs> we used to have a, a firm, an industrial vacuum cleaner firm, that would come out and um, you know, look at them, and they were charging us the earth. So in the end. Um, I used to virtually do all our repairs on the vacuums and that's, you know, um, as I say, I've always been into electrical and electrical repairs. And um, anyway, the church asked me, our local church asked me, could I have a look at this DC-14 if it packed up? Um, well, it was the motor. So um, I bought a, a Dyson Motors aren't particularly expensive. I bought a new motor, fitted it, took it all to bits, cleaned it well, serviced it, and gave it back to them. And they were delighted. They're back with a vacuum cleaner. Um, they were cleaning a part of the church, our, our parish rooms out, which is near to the church. And um, lo and behold, they came across this collection of vacuum cleaners that um, no doubt some at some point in time people had donated, given, and at some point they'd stopped working. So they'd just been shoved in this cupboard and um, they phoned me up and said, you know, would I like these vacuum cleaners? You know, they had got no use for them. So I said, well, I might be able to get you a spare going um, because, you know, I don't really want four vacuum cleaners. But then I thought, well, just for a bit of fun, and um, just to see what we could do. I hate throwing things away, and I'm a great recycler. I thought, can we, how many of these four vacuum cleaners can we get we repair and get going in this day and age? Um, we've got a, um, a Henry in bits. Somebody's took it to bits. Um, I, I'm hoping all the bits are there. Um, now that's a vacuum cleaner I know well. I used to service those, so that's no worries. I, I think I know what that is already. But we'll, we'll um, in future, in, in you know, um, when we get into the video, um, we'll have a closer look at that. Um, then we've got a, um, a small Vax. Um, it's a Power Six. I. I don't know the number, um, but it's got a number. It's 89, I think, stroke C something. Um, now that was running, but um, when it was put away, but somebody had broken a part of it. So that's going to be interesting whether we can get that part for that. Um, then we've got a model that I've never come across, uh, a Vax Air 3 upright. Um, no idea about that. And then we've got a very early, quite an early Dyson um, with a Dyson 04, which there again should be, I would think, very repairable. And um, so that's what this, you know, this is the Vickers, <laughs> the Vickers cast off vacuum, collect, vacuum cleaner collection. And how many of these four uh, can we repair, get running, obviously make them safe and usable again. And, um, I just thought it'd be quite a fun video and, and you know, um, obviously this is going to be done over many weeks as you'll appreciate um, and I'll put little bits to the video as I do each one. It might even get that it has to be in, in a couple or three videos um, because it could be it could be a bit long winded. So um, I have the Henry, Ho Henry Hoover um, totally now dismantled. It was all in bits as I said, as I said uh, when I started the video and um, I've taken the motor out of the housing here now and um, a sure far way to um, test the uh, motor is on a continuity setting on the multimeter and um, I'm getting nothing on that one at all. That's the one I've taken out. Um, if we have here we have a new motor and if we go that to that and you can see 
you get a very low on a range uh, which is right. So we know the motor is duff, the motor is burnt out. Uh, very important on these um, Henry Hoovers, they dependence, they all look the same, but obviously they, they're all built, you know, some many years ago now. And so they all do have slightly, some of them have slightly different motors. So if you're looking for a new motor, it's this, you want to go on this UDS 1053 SN and look at your motor that you take out and make sure that it, it is the same number on the motor replacing that you're replacing it with, I should say. So as I say, you need the you need like for like basically. These are not cheap, I have to say neither. Um, I still have a friend in in the trade, and he's done me a fantastic deal on this. But these can range. I've seen these range anything from uh, forty to sixty pounds. I have just paid put the right one up. I have just paid only at twenty pounds for that. So I think it's worth repairing the Henry for twenty quid. Um, obviously, going to try and do this, all these Hoovers on a budget. I don't want to spend a lot of money on them, and um, so it's twenty pounds. Um, you also get the new. You get the plastic ring and the rubber gasket that goes when it's put back in. So we'll have a go now and see if we can get this motor reinstalled in and um, see if we get the Hoover back working. So that's got the um, wires back attached there. They only push on, um, you know, like the push on connectors there. Um, these are very stiff. You, you'll find you'll need a lot of force. Uh, when taking them off the old motor, they um, they do for some reason fit very stiff. Um, uh, but there we go. There's our two wires, and um, hopefully that's all we need to do now. Um, so now our motor goes back into the housing, and um, the wires. I assume didn't really concentrate. The wires will go through there. Um, obviously you've got to be careful not to get your wires um, caught up anywhere um, in this proceedings. Um, and I've just suddenly thought we need actually, before we jump ahead of ourselves, we need um, these, you get some also some rubber bits um, which go on go on like that like that can you see that they go on to that um, that's got it a little bit of WD-40 helped it slip on there I think that other side's gone on okay so there we go that's um, let's just wipe all that off now and then those two actually line into the two holes there um, whether you'll see me do this if I can hold it up. Um, get the wires as that's it, like so. That's it, I think. Are we in? There we are in. So then we have to um, connect the wires back up onto this switch here. Um, which is a bit fiddly to say the least. <laughs> now I believe this switch lifts out, but um, we might be able to get in with some little pliers there and hook those back on. So there we go, that's, that's a touch fiddly, but can probably see, uh, hope you can, uh, perhaps you can't, um, that our wires are back on our switch there. It's a little bit dark, isn't it? Um, and um, we turn that over again now and sort our wires out and sort our things out into the... It's a poor way of fixing, I think that is, but never mind, that's not for me to... <laughs> Say that about Henry Hoover's, is it? Uh, 
right, <clears throat> well after much deliberation, <laughs> I had to move it about because I found the black wire was very, very tight and then coming out the bottom where it should have come out the top. So I just had to swap the wires around. Um, obviously, if you do one of these, you'll, you'll see that was a mistake on my part there. And um, and this that's why this rubber seal wouldn't fit on um, particularly well. Um, I'm still not quite sure which way this goes, but I'm assuming it's going to go that way now. Um, I don't know how far that can only go down to there, I assume. Let's try and get the, the top bit back on again. and get some screws in. We'll see if that holds it down, I think. So we'll get our screws um, back in now to hold this, hopefully, he says. <laughs> so there we go, that's that back on. Um, and um, I think, do we have a little bit that goes? Should I put that on first? Oh no, don't tell me that. Perhaps that goes on our next bit. Or perhaps I should have put these on as well. It's ages as you can see since I've done one of these. And off a bit of picking I think. There we go. Now what about that bit? Does that go? Should that have gone there? Do you think that's like that? Yep, there we go. We can tighten them back up now I think again. Just clean that um, those two tracks up there because I'm sure that's what um, does pick the power. Oh dear, that does say it doesn't fit at all well in there, does it? Um, but never mind. On with the job. There we go. And um, <clears throat> then we put our uh, four little wheels um, back in our wheel slots. Can you see the wheel slots? Hopefully you can. I'll drop them in anyway. They go in like that. One, two, three, four. Just like so. And then our top bit. Shall we wind the cable back up? We perhaps can't because it won't do it until it's on the um, so that's going to come out of there like so and we should have a little bit of a uh, cable jobby to fit in there we mustn't forget that like so like a cable stay so it doesn't pull that's looking good like that goes through there and then that holds in there that must come like that there we go She's on. <laughs> and I think we can tip it over. And hopefully then put our screws into place. So we're just doing our last uh, four screws that hold.
So I right, put one in already where there was a screw. That's not good. So that's the last four holes, screws rather. So we've tightened our last four screws and uh, they're nice and tight. Get that one in, see if we can lock it. There we go. You can hear the case pop as well. Hopefully that's um and um hopefully Cable tie is going okay. Um, we're off on, so shall we? Well, there we go. I think that certainly sounds a bit more positive, doesn't it? And um, obviously I've washed the filter and um, it's always best to um, use bags on these as well. I find um, when I was using them, a bit of dust blew out there. It's blowing the dust out of old Henry anyway, isn't it? We've got jolly good suction there anyway, so um, I should put it back, the rest of it, and um, give him a good clean up. And that's the first one done, I think, and sorted. To carry the Hoover saga onwards, I've now got Henry all cleaned up. Um, I've washed the um, head and the vacuum hose out because it was really filthy. And if I just show you, Plug it in. And where's the switch on this? It's around the back somewhere. Isn't it? Loads of suction back there, and it's running fine. Um, you know, it's it's a, it's amazing you know why people throw these this stuff out isn't it so there we go that's that's henry repaired he's back fully working um the vax air 3 was quite interesting i've took it all to bits i've cleaned it all i've washed it cleaned the tank out and the like the vortexy jobby thing up there um and um, give it a thorough clean this one has a separate brush motor and I think somebody had hit something hard with it or at some point um, if they'd been used on a church, our church has a stone floor which is probably not sort of really suitable for that kind of um, vacuum or it might have been used in our uh, church rooms, I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, but what had happened was simply, um, I didn't video because it was a, such a basic fault. The motor had, um, the brush motor had come off of its mounts somehow and a wire had come off and the motor was fine. Both motors are fine. And um, actually this has made quite a nice little hoover. There we go, so I plugged it in and um, we'll just, I'm not gonna let the brush motors um, run too much on this hard surface out here, but. Sorry, they're a bit noisy, these hoovers. So there we go, that's running really well. The brush motor goes round. The brush strip hardly looks how it's had any wear, really. It was just a mat of tangled hairs. That could have been the other reason. And there was a big load of, um, like, raffia st string round it. So it could have just got so choked that it actually pulled the motor off the rubber 
um, the brush motor is in here um, in this section and it just could it just could have pulled it off its mounting it's mount, mounted on some rubber mounts and um, I think perhaps it was just so fouled up you know these these hoovers have been in a like almost like a public building you might say and um, yeah people perhaps don't bother so much as if it's their own hoover so that's two out of the four I've got working um, this little vax here the power six this was working but what had happened was if we take it off there is a clip if you can see that there's an orange clip that has a, like a, um, a lug on it there, which presses down on a spring, and then that hooks in to this section here. Now, that kind of hook or lug there had broken off. Now, I couldn't find one of these. These don't seem to be made anymore. You'd think a part like that would be pretty, second so another focus, would be pretty readily available. Uh, but no, you couldn't buy one for love and the money. Um, so a friend owed, owed me a favour. <laughs> so I called in a favour and um, we've gone really high tech on this one. And um, he has um, 3D printed in plastic a new um, black clip to fix fit there like that this is he's done it in black obviously and it's no that's fine and um, so that then locks back into place and doesn't fall off anymore um, the tank sort of you know you've got to you've got to have that lock you've got to have that lip to lock it into place so this was working I had tried it and this was working so now I shall just give that a good clean up and wash the you know the thing out and um, so there we go, that is three. That just leaves the Dyson DC um, four, um, which we'll probably you know, pick up on a separate video. Um, so I think that's pretty good. It looks like I'm gonna you know, be able to repair for very cheaply, as I say, the, um, Henry needed a new motor, which I think I lucky and bought it for under 20 pounds. Um, the Air 3 Vax upright, separate brush motor vacuum didn't need nothing just a good clean just to sort out just a wire putting back on the brush motor basically this needed that new plastic clip I say which was 3d printed by a friend for nothing he owed me a favor and he said he'd glad to do it designed it and very cleverly i, I haven't got that grasp of tech or even got a um, 3d printer you know to do to do that kind of thing but he did it for me and um, said it was no problem so that is back and working and might as well um, be used for some more life yeah so as always thanks for watching and it just shows i think you know even today you still can repair this stuff you know um, it's all too easy for us to go out and buy new items when something breaks or we think it's broke or it's failed but it just shows you you know often for not a lot of money sometimes today stuff is irreparable you can't get it you can't even take it apart but i have to say most vacuum cleaners still you know can be repaired and fixed and um and so there we go that's three up and running out of the four so i'm, I'm delighted with that and um I haven't decided what to do with them. I was given these. Um, I might well give them the Henry back, um, the Henry Hoover back as a backup, because that's that seems to me the ideal vacuum for the for the church building. You know, it's got a nice pole, it's got a nice reach, it's good for hard surfaces. Um, so I might well give them the Henry back. But the others, there we go. Um, I did Hoover um yesterday with this one in the house this vax upright the air 3 and i have to say it worked very very well i normally use a dyson an oldish dc14 and found it equally as good as that um so as always thanks for watching and um do like comment and um think about subscribing it does help us thank you to everyone that has subscribed and um, i'll catch up with you very soon with some more videos anyway and um, we'll perhaps have a look at the dyson in time and see if we can uh, i'm sure we can get that going because dysons are 
virtually every part is out there available. And I've got some, I've got a, a scrap DC-14 that I think I might be able to fix that with. So as always, my best wishes and bye for now.